some useful things for the shop. What is up guys, welcome to the video. I am back home, I am feeling good. I'm glad to see my cars again. There is one thing. The weather in California is absolutely terrible and coming from Thailand to this, not cool. Anyways, this morning I stopped by the store and picked up a jack and some jack stands. I'll probably need them down the road. I'm finally back for good. I was gone like the entire month of January, but now it's time to really buckle down and get some stuff going in the shop so that it's not so empty. Thankfully, we've got some stuff today to go into the warehouse if we finish up what we're doing with the GTR, but thanks to Grim Speed, we have a pretty awesome, a pretty awesome Grim Speed banner to hang up in here as well as some Yokohama ones. And if you guys want to, I do have a PO box and if you want some garage banners hung up in my garage, I would love to get all kinds of cool banners from you guys. Before we deal with any of this stuff, we're back with the GTR finally and we still have a lot of work to be done. Today, we're gonna test something out. This is something that I've been very, very excited for ever since I got it in Japan. This is the Nismo Quick Shift for the R32 GTR. Now they make two versions of this. They have the stiff shift, which just stiffens up the shifting in the GTR, and then they have the quick shift, which not only stiffens it up, but makes it a short shifter as well. So I'm very curious to see the difference in stock versus that. If you've never driven a GTR, never been in a GTR and felt the shift pattern, it's very much like a tractor or a truck. It's super long and it's not very, very crisp. So I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So all the way over. It's probably not as visible on camera as it is in person, but just know the stock shift feeling of the GTR, not the best. So today we're gonna fix that and we're gonna be installing the short shifter. Now I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, especially because the directions that Nismo gives you is completely in Japanese. There's not any English on this whatsoever. So we're gonna learn together today, boys. All right, so first things first with this, let's go ahead and take off the little plastic trim piece right here to get to the bolts down here. First, we're gonna go ahead and take off this shift knob. Okay, this should just slide right out. This is the piece that needs to come off right here. That's very, very rusty. And I think you have to take this out in order to get this rusty little metal piece out right there. So you just wanna take out a couple of bolts that are down here holding this plastic trim piece in. I'm not gonna take it all the way out because I'm pretty sure I can get this metal piece without unclipping all of the wires back here. So you have four screws in here. Super easy, use a screwdriver, take out all four of these and this thing should slide right out. Last bolt is out. Supposedly this thing should just come out. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is gonna come out. Now mine is a little crusty, probably because it's never ever been taken off before, but go ahead and pry it off. Cool, now the shifter is exposed. Okay, so using the Japanese directions, I have sort of, I think, figured out what is going on here. So once you get all the factory boots and stuff off, you're gonna have this one last rubber boot on the shifter right here, lift it up, and there is an O-ring. Can't remember what these are called, but like a snap ring, a special kind of clip right here. You can kind of see it right there. I had to use these special pliers for pry that and then you can actually pull out your stock shifter. So here is the whole assembly from factory. Now let's go compare it to the Nismo, okay? Factory versus Nismo. Hmm. So right now I can't tell much of a difference, but the Nismo one definitely looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. So I'm curious to see the difference. All the pieces that the Nismo one comes with actually adds a step in installing your shifter. So it comes with this and I am definitely not sure on what exactly this piece is just yet, but it comes with maybe a spacer or a bearing of some sort. So not 100% on what this is just yet, but I'm gonna look around online and try and look the direction and see if I can figure out what exactly this piece is right here and then I'll update you guys once I figure it out. Okay. I've been struggling with this for a while, but turns out that Randy from Eliminate actually did this exact same install. So I called him and he kind of walked me through it because it is extremely confusing. So this piece and this piece come together, like they come actually put together and you have to disassemble these two pieces. So this piece actually will go on first. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The little spring piece is now on. It's actually supposed to be off-centered a little bit. It shows it like that in the directions right there. Okay, so after that piece, this rubber gasket that you put down 
that lays right inside of there. For that, you have the spacer that goes on top of rubber gasket. After the spacer, you actually have a paper gasket, which is kind of weird, but it's cool. You lay down the paper gasket. Once you're done with that, that's when you can install your shifter. So this should actually just slide right in here, hopefully. Give me a second while I try and put this in there. Okay, shifter is, shifter's in there, I think, maybe. Okay, we got the shifter in here. Now, once the shifter's in, you go ahead and place this blue piece over the shifter. I believe now that the blue piece is on, you bolt it in and then put on all of your shift boots and stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I'm doing this correctly and try, oh, okay. It feels weird, it feels like it's not right. Let me play around with this. Uh. Play, Mick. Oh, hi. With the help of Mickey, all of my problems have now been solved. Of course. Actually, instead of putting this spacer, put the shifter in with the little... Delrin bushing. Or a bushing, so that's the word. spacer bushing deal. Yes. And that's what keeps the, um, the shifter planted. And then we're going to sandwich it in with this aluminum spacer. And I believe this rubber gasket goes on top between this plate. I was all messed up, dude. Oh, wow. I mean, honestly, dealing with an instruction manual, it's all in Japanese. <laughs> There's like literally no English in the whole thing other than the word Nismo. It actually makes sense now though. So yeah, everything sits nice and flush. It's not all weird. Earlier I was talking about how weird it felt and it didn't feel good. Well, this is why. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure all this stuff lines up and I'll show you guys when we bolt it in. Some, some strangely bad news here. I haven't updated you guys in a few hours and we ran into probably like the worst possible scenario that could happen when doing this. So we were installing the short shifter and uh, as you can see, we're pretty, we're pretty deep in there now. We had to take off the entire top cover to look into the actual transmission because we were testing out the short shifter and it actually got stuck in fourth gear. We had to obviously pry it out of fourth gear, which in return broke the little plastic bearing that's on the end of the shifter. So now we don't have any shifter bearing, which means I cannot install the short shifter. My freaking luck. So this means tomorrow I'm gonna have to go to Nissan or a Nissan dealership probably isn't even gonna have an R32 GTR shifter bushing. So I'm gonna have to do some heavy searching to find a new shifter bushing. And we tried to get off the stock one and the stock one also broke because it was so old. So yeah, today's install is a complete and total fail. So I'm out of luck for right now. I'm sorry to you guys that I couldn't install this today, but good news. We actually got to put to use the jack and the jack stands that I bought today. So got to use the stuff that I bought finally. I guess we can end today by putting up some banners because I have a ton of banners that I want to put up. And since this failed, I might as well just put up the banners and call it a night. I honestly wasn't going to make this into a video, but I thought just being real and showing you guys that installs don't always go as planned. And most of the time with me, they usually don't. And this is one of those times that just shit happens, dude. And that it sucks, but instead of everything being perfect in every single video, stuff goes wrong all the time. And I thought I'd show you guys, so. Unfortunately, it's an R32 and it's not something you just run up to AutoZone and pick up. Yeah, so. so hopefully I can, I'm gonna try and find one tomorrow, but if not, then the search will continue. Hopefully one of you guys can tell me where I can find one of those bushings. For now, we put everything exactly how it's supposed to be until we find the actual bushing, just so we don't forget. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up now. Everything is clean. We got everything organized. All the extra parts that need to go back in whenever we finish this. Please feel free to let me know where I can find a little shifter bushing because I'm honestly really gonna need that really bad. All of the banners are up. It's starting to feel more like my warehouse and not just some random garage in here. The more I'm able to start hanging things up and the more I'm able to actually get in the garage when I get my tools, all of that stuff, it's gonna be amazing and I'm really, really excited. So I'm back home. I'm not gonna let a bad day stop me from my upload 
loads. So fail day, but it happens. At least we got some stuff done. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I still have a long drive home. Tiana's sick, so I gotta go take care of her. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you're not already, why are you not subscribed? Hit that subscribe button down there for me. It really does help out the channel, and we have lots of awesome projects coming up, like this big turbo. Once again, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully we get that finished. Peace out.